and welcome to your gold market update for today the 9th of august 2022 mike smith senior analyst here from gold markets let's have a look at what's coming across the news we're in a mixed session overnight with the doubt performing again indices remaining just below key levels the data out over the next couple of days is probably a key factor in what may happen next of course and we've got final earnings as we move towards the back end of earnings season to date 87% of the S&P 500 have reported, with a very impressive 75% beating expected earnings per share. And of course, that's one of the reasons why we've seen markets look quite buoyant over the last two or three weeks, particularly. US futures at this stage are just above neutral, and Asian indices are generally trading weaker with the ASX also trading near neutral. European futures are suggesting a slightly lower open at this stage. US dollar index continues to trade near the top of the range and gold has failed once again to break 1800, looking a little bit like an ascending triangle on a daily gold chart. Oil is still eyeing April lows, although we have bounced a little bit and copper is paused at a key level at $3.60. Uh, Bitcoin looks positive, testing the top of the range around about that 24,000. It is a slightly busier earnings day today as we move towards the back end of earnings season. There's a little data of note today. We do have some late US labor cost productivity numbers coming out later, but really the big data is tomorrow with inflation data out of China, Germany, and of course the big one out of the US tomorrow night. A couple of charts of interest for today. We reference gold and you can see there we're just trading slightly under this 1800 level. Uh, and as, as we said on the daily chart, you can see what looks like an ascending triangle formation. I do think the upside on this is possibly limited to around about 1830, even if we do get some buying coming into this. Wouldn't be surprised if that inflation number comes in a little soft tomorrow to see gold hit that and possibly ultimately get back up to around this 1850, 1860 level. <coughs> On the ASX, we're like in Iluka. We had a break yesterday of this 200 MA. We can see around about this 985 level. You can see we are trading near neutral today, so market's not convinced as yet, but it is relatively early in the session. If we do get a break from here, uh, then we could see a move up to around about that 1060 level. So a fairly healthy return for those short-term traders who this may interest. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.